Well, one definition of faith that's bandied about by people who do not have faith is to say that it's belief without evidence. That strikes me as absurd. Uh, faith is always on the basis of some reasons. Faith in a traditional way of looking at it is to believe in God and what God has revealed, not because I understand what God has revealed, but because God has revealed it. That's a different thing to say without evidence. You need certain arguments of convenience that you would know that there is a God and, and that you should trust that God, uh, which needs to be dealt with when you're looking at faith. So when you're dealing with that phenomenon, which is so widespread across the planet, you know, people have faith in, in many different things, but especially in terms of Christian faith in the Christian God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We know that God is a trinity. We call God Father because Jesus revealed himself as the Son. And we know about Jesus through the testimony of the apostles and how that has been preserved for us in the church and in the scriptures and, and, and that's studied and, and, and certainly debated and argued. And that's the whole point of theology and different aspects of that. So faith is always accompanied by reason. The first Vatican Council in 1870 dealt very especially with the relationship of faith and reason in the light of Victorian rationalism. And it puts forward there that faith is superior to reason because it comes from God and it is a light, an even greater light with which we can see and make sense of the world in a much superior, in a far superior way. Nevertheless, faith involves reason and, and faith does not go against reason. Two plus two is equal to four. Two plus two is not equal to five not even in theology. God does not contradict himself. And, and I think that's a very important thing to keep in mind. What theology does in bringing out these mysteries, which are related to each other, because God is logos, the word. Uh, there's a certain logic to God uh, in, in what he brings to us that's not chaos. Uh, theology helps us to see why the faith, even though it might go beyond our reason, is not unreasonable.